In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. When a profound silence covered all things, and night was in the middle of its course, your all-powerful word, O Lord, bounded from heaven's royal throne. Today the Mass is offered for all parishioners. And now let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed memory of the Virgin, all the angels of the saints, Brothers and sisters, pray for me, Lord God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that the newness of the nativity in the flesh of your only begotten Son may set us free, for ancient servitude holds us bound, beneath the yoke of sin, sin, to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. I am writing to you, children, because your sins have been forgiven in his name's sake. I am writing to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I am writing to you, young men, because you have conquered the evil one. I write to you, children, because you know the Father. I write to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you are strong, and the word of God remains in you, and you have conquered the evil one. Do not love the world or the things of the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, sensual lust, enticement for the eyes, and a pretentious life, is not from the Father, but is from the world. Yet the world and its enticement are passing away, but whoever does the will of God remains forever. The word of the Lord. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Bring gifts and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in his holy attire. Tremble before him all the earth. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with, equ with equity. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A holy day is dawned upon us. Come, you nations, and adore the Lord. Today a great light has come upon the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. There was a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanel of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage and then as a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshiped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. And when they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own town of Nazareth. <clears throat> the child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. Sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. There was a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Peniel, the tribe of Asher. She never left the temple but worshipped night and day, fasting and praying. And coming up to them at that very moment, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem. I have a question for you. Would your epitaph, perhaps on the stone on your grave, read, Worship God night and day, fasting and praying. Gave thanks to God for the gift of his Son, Jesus Christ. Shared the story of my faith in Jesus Christ for all who are looking forward to redemption. Would this be your epitaph? The prophetess Anna is a mentor for us, for our lives in Jesus Christ, for our mission and ministry of evangelization. She is an example and inspiration for how we are to live out the promises of our baptismal vows, for how we are to live as faithful disciples. And as also a testament of what it means to ultimately trust in God. Were we to ask of Anna, who had lived with her husband seven years after her marriage, and then was a widow until she was 84, does God know your situation? Yes. Is it too hard for God to handle? No. Does God have a good plan for you? Yes. For strength and inspiration, and for learning what it means to ultimately trust in God, look to Anna. The prophetess Anna has a lot to teach us, she is the one who knew that God spoke to her about the Son of Man. She is the one who served faithfully for over 80 years. She took care of others when no one would take care of her. She did not become bitter or angry. And in the end, when Jesus was welcomed into the church at his dedication, she was there to thank God for the gift of his his son. So maybe as we look to the end of this year, and we look to the new year, and as we reflect and pray about our life in Christ, and living out our baptismal vows, being evangelizers, sharing the good news of Jesus Christ, sharing our faith with others, maybe we can be a little bit like Anna, serving God, and serving one another all the days of our life. Amen. Mindful of God's enduring care and concern for each of us, we place our prayers before Him. 
For Christ church on earth, may the Lord guard and strengthen each one of us his servants. We pray to the Lord. Lord For civic leaders, may the Lord grant them wisdom in protecting all in their care, especially children and the newborn. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all those who struggle in faith, may the Lord console them with his promises and help them in any unbelief. We pray to the Lord. Lord For all who worship in this place, may God's grace transform us in the image of Christ's love and mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord For those who have died in the light of faith, may God bring them to eternal rest in him. We especially remember Michael Cott Sr., who will be buried this morning. We will celebrate his memorial mass, his funeral mass at 10 o'clock this morning. We pray to the Lord. Lord. And for the special intentions of this mass, this mass for all parishioners, may we have a faith like Anna's. We pray to the Lord. Loving Father, we ask that you hear our prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are all the over creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of man's hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, with our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of man's hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive your favor, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through this heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is true, right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through Him, the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union we too are made eternal. And so, in company of the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, and on earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed for you, Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon the light that you fall, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mister of Faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered in the one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O oh, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be chorus to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and never. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Spirit. Let us share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb.
From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. Let us pray. O God, who touch us through our partaking of your sacrament, work, we pray, the effects of its power in our hearts, that we may be made fit to receive your gift through this very gift itself, through Christ our Lord. Amen. This is just a reminder, tomorrow is no morning Mass, we have only 4 p.m. Mass, Mass of Thanksgiving. Is the Mass of the Vigil of Blessed Mary and January 1st Mass at 10 in the morning and 4 p.m. Mass from Sunday Vigil. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now let us go forth in the spirit of Christmas. Let us go forth in the hope and prayer that Jesus birth will take place in our hearts each and every day. Thanks be to God.